Welcome back. Let's talk about removing data now. So I might want to remove one of these cats. Like I added it, but I was I realized I don't want to manage that cat, for example. I don't need information for that. So I need to be able to remove it. So how might I go about doing that now? Well, we'll start out by maybe we can set up a button here. So I'll set up a button and say something like bg hyphen red text hyphen white uh, rounded. I'm going to just say a little bit of rounded. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of shadow. Um, and then I'll say remove. And we see like a little remove button there now. I'll say p hyphen two padding all around. So it's obviously exaggerated here. But anyways, I click on this button. I want it to remove that record. So how might I do that? I'm going to say at click. So when I click on this record, I want to, what do I want to do? I want to remove this cat. And that's going to be the uh, name of that function, remove the cat. And I want to pass in the cat name or the cat object actually. So uh, remove cat. Now if I scroll down here to our methods, after the add one, I would make a new one that said remove cat. And in remove cat, I would then specify um, something like, I'll just start out with, well, first I would need, I would need to set parameter, right? Because we're passing in the, the object of cat that we're selecting. Then I want to do a console.log so you can actually see what's inside of that object. So now that that's saved, if I click on this, let me command option I to open up console. Let me click remove. You'll see that here is that object. It has the name. ID, get and set names for this. We can just ignore this stuff. The things that really are important to us is name and ID here. That ID is what we're going to use to either update the record or delete the record. So if we go to some docs here, it says getting started with Cloud Firestore. You're going to see the docs for all their products here. If we scroll into this area here, there's add and manage data, read data, structure data, usage limits, all of this. If we click on add and manage data, there's structuring the data, adding the data, transactions, and then deleting the data. This is delete here, and it gives you a couple examples of how you might want to write some code to delete it in various languages. Of course, we're using JavaScript. Um, and this remove the capital field from the document, for example, uh, remove capital city ref uh, and delete it. This is very simple. Uh, it says DB collection cities doc. Remember, this is document. That's that second level in this example. They we called it DC would be that unique ID dot delete. And then if you wanted to do something else, you could run it uh, in a closure here and say then do something right. But we don't need to do that. We're going to say db.collection cities, but ours are cats. And then that unique ID is going to be the cat uh, ID, and we're going to delete it. I can get rid of the console now, and now we have a remove cat. So now if we go back to our app, I'm going to remove, close the console, and I'd like to get rid of uh, Sam here. I'd click on the remove button, and it removes those records. I like to add some new ones. I would say something like uh, Frank and Brown, and I say add. I have a new one. I click it, and it removes it. Again, what's really cool here, and I think the, the real powerful thing about all of this is you can now do this in real time across multiple screens. And this is the part that gets me like really, really excited about this technology. Because you didn't have to spin up this crazy infrastructure to do all of this. You just essentially just write some front end code and you're done. You've integrated it. So uh, I'm going to go over here and say Frank. And I'll say Frank's blue this time and say add. You'll see it just went boom, boom. I'll click remove from here and it removed from there as well. And that could be anywhere in the world. And you could see that in real time and build collaboration tools, uh, collaboration applications, games, all kinds of really cool stuff.